Okay, so I've been looking <coughs> into a few bootstrap editors and uh, so far so good I found uh, two that I would like to review and I would like to explain here. Um, I'm not going to talk about both of them, I'm just going to mention uh, Pingrow and uh, this one uh, which is called uh, Pingendo and uh, I'm going to focus on this uh, Pingendo one and I'm going to tell you uh, the advantages of this uh, program and how can you quickly put together a, a website or uh, let's talk about uh, websites in terms of collections of web pages uh, by using the, the bootstrap uh, framework so let's get here I have a dashboard template that I, I built in um, Pingendo but uh, I want to show you how you can start from scratch so basically you create a new document after you install Pingendo so to create a new document uh, the program loads and uh, gives you a couple of options I believe uh, you can use a template or you can use a, an empty page so let's go for the uh, full scratch uh, empty page uh, we have the layout and as you know Bootstrap has some um, chunks or components uh, that you can uh, just drag and drop to assemble your website uh, this is the work area right here, this is the code editor uh, it is essentially uh, the same as uh, sublime text with the same color coding and formatting so let's make a landing page here so as you know you have to start uh, by using a container so what you do is you, you drag and drop your container and uh, to, to respect and to follow the bootstrap structure you want to have uh, essentially rows inside the container so you're going to drag and drop them all I'm just going to add three rows and <coughs> inside each row you should have uh, at least one column so I'm just gonna go and drag uh, one column here one column in the middle row and in the uh, footer row and you know what I like of this program is that you can just pretty much plug and play all these, all these uh, chunks so let's go for a page header into the header in the, the header row and let's just add um, you know let's let, let's say we're going to have a video here with some uh, video comments and a footer so let's go um, split this middle col this middle row in uh, two columns so let's go here now we have two columns and, and notice how you can just sort of drag uh, each column and it will uh, create the, uh, the uh, class that relates to the bootstrap um, CSS which is uh, right now being pulled from an absolute uh, URL um, so let's just go and let's say we want the video here to occupy this space I will just drag the thumbnail uh, sorry, the, the YouTube uh, component uh, in here, in the right side we are going to have a header which is likely the name of the video and then we're going to have a paragraph and uh, if we want to add a call to action so we can just go and you can get a button and just position it uh, just right there you're going to have different options for your button you can make it larger uh, medium size um, or extra small make it uh, large uh, let's add another chunk of text here and that's it I'm going to save this document and I'm going to call this uh, landing page video one that's it I save it then you can click on this uh, preview in browser and uh, what you're going to get is essentially all your uh, wireframe pre-built and all you have to do is uh, write the content or copy paste uh, your content so there you go you have your uh, name you have the um, uh, another page header with subtext and the uh, video and a disclaimer and this is just you know the basics uh, of, of what you can do you can 
probably delete this one and instead of a page header, just a regular heading. You can add another one here and then you can add another paragraph and then you can say this is the heading one and this is going to be the heading uh, two, for example. Or you can say this is going to be the heading two and this is the heading three. You can go to the footer and you can say, uh, you know what, I want this to be, um, you know, grayed out. Uh, save, that's uh, how I look again. Basically, refresh this page. And there you go. So, this is uh, Smart Media Publishing. Uh, I'm David, and I'm showing you Bootstrap, a Bootstrap editor called Pingendom. And this is just one of the other videos that I'm going to. Uh, be making, showing you different techniques and tricks for the smart media publishing and product